Hey guys, it's Pliskin. Uh, it's been about how long has it been? About four or five days since I uploaded anything. Anyway, um, just kind of talking to y'all today. Uh, we went to the gun store where I went out and bought my uh, M1A the other or back in September we went out there the other day um, the guy who works there we know him he uh, finally got over his sickness I'm not going to go into detail on what it was but he uh, finally got back to work so we went to his uh, we went to the gun store and got some things uh, got Butch's boar sign and uh, got some 168 grain Amax 308 bullets. Now these are going to be used for both my dad's Remington 700 and my M1A because the um, process of getting my scope mount is quickly, quickly uh, getting more traction. Um, I've got some junk well, not really junk, but stuff that I don't need anymore that I plan to sell to get money. That and mowing and just stuff of that nature. Uh, I've been looking up the mounts and uh, I've been looking at some good ones for reasonable prices. Anyway, uh, this is what the Amax bullet looks like. I'm sure a lot of you probably already know, but I got one out so I could sh uh, show I could show you all. Yep, it's got a boat tail, and then it's got a um, polymer tip. Yep, these ought to do well in my M1A, I have to see. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, when I do get my um, scope mount for my M1A, I, I will show you all the scope I plan on putting. Here's the scope I plan to put on my M1A when I finally get a scope mount for it. It is a um, Redfield Revolution 4x12. This is currently on my dad's 4570 barrel for his Encore. Yep. I do plan to get a. Uh, like a little pulled Mark IV for my M14 or M1A, but that'll wait. Uh, so this will work in the meantime. Um, he's going to be well. He's going to be selling this, and I'm going to be selling my H and R because the gun laws around here have changed. Uh, we can now hunt with um, actual rifles uh, we can hunt with the 243 308-30-06 now instead of having to use uh, handgun cartridges uh, now that being said his 4570 he cut his back a little bit so they were legal to hunt with but uh, now since the deer laws have changed uh, break uh, our break opens will be obsolete and have no need for them so I will um, <clears throat> be selling my H&R 223 and he'll be selling his Encore with the 308 and 4570 barrel so that frees up a scope uh, for my M14 uh, simply because these guns will serve no purpose because what would be the point of having this when you can go out and hunt with your 30-06 bolter you know and I'm sure there's probably people that'll still hunt with their break opens and whatnot. The old law, the old laws are still the same. It's just here we can now uh, use rifles, and we plan to. I'm sorry if I look like I've been hit by a car. I was up, I was out last night, out late with my friends. We was all having a good time, uh, just hanging out. So. I feel, if I look like I've been hit by a car, it's because I feel like I've been hit by a car. It's just, ugh. 
Yeah. Uh, anyway, I th figured I'd give you all this little, uh, I guess, future endeavors, I suppose. Uh, show you what's going down. Um, like I said, I'll be selling my H and R two twenty three. I don't know whether I'll use that money to buy more stuff for my M one A or if I'll get a Remington seven hundred SPS and two twenty three or something of that nature. Uh, I just have to wait and see. We, it's a uh, going to be interesting. Going to be an interesting year this uh, this year. Um, going into uh, the fall and all of that. Uh, I do plan to get out, hopefully, hopefully, to, if time allows, to get out on over spring break and do some shooting. Um, uh, at all, uh, the get together at the my uncle's cabin out in the, out there. It got canceled. That's a no go. Uh, too many people weren't able to make it. They got plans. Uh, spring break, you know. I say spring break because a lot of my friends are still in high school. Uh, so they, they're they going on vacations like down to Florida, stuff like that. So it's, it, we'll, I'll, we'll have to find something to do in the meantime. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'll just give you this little, I guess, update. Uh, anyway, uh, see you all later.